How's it guys? Great to have you here. Are you struggling with the basics of Lightroom, importing, exporting and all that jazz? This video is for you. I'm going to share with you my easy Lightroom workflow to take your photos to the next level. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm also going to share with you one extra tip on how to import Lightroom presets into your Lightroom. My name is Kubis Tolich. Welcome to this video. Let's have a look. All right, guys, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my memory card, put it in my memory card reader and download the photos. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new catalog. At the moment, I'm in a catalog of a previous wedding year, and I highly suggest that you create a catalog for each shoot, which I'm going to show you now. So we're going to go to file, go new catalog, go to the folder where you've copied your photos into. I've created one that I called YouTube. We're going engagement shoot. It's YouTube workflow in this case. I'm going to say open up and now I'm going to give it a name and we're going to say, I'm just going to say YT because I know this is for this video and um, you can call it whatever you want. Perhaps the couple's name or just the bride's name. Go create. It's going to ask me to back up my previous shoot. Maybe in your case, you're doing a brand new one and you don't have to do that. I'm in this case just saying skip. Lightroom opens up and once it has opened in the bottom left corner we can now go import photos. On the left hand side you go to the location on your hard drive where those photos are in. So in this case I'm going to go to YouTube workflow. That is where the photos are in and I'm just going to say import. Now I didn't choose like 200 photos or 1000 photos to import here just for time's sake but you can do a whole wedding like this importing it into Lightroom. So once all your photos have imported into Lightroom guys I highly suggest that you create one-on-one -on -one previews. The reason for this is you want a fast workflow. You want to go in between photos fast. You want to be able to zoom in and out the photo fast. And for that, we're going to go library and we go down to previews, build one-on-one -on -one previews on all of them. This will take a while depending on your PC speed. If you have taken three, four, maybe 5,000 photos at a wedding, I highly suggest that you do this during the night when you go to bed because it can take a couple of hours but once it's done, it's absolutely brilliant. The next thing that we can do is to cull the images. Now, I only have 11 images here, but this is the same for 100, 2,000, 10,000 images, depending on how much you've taken. So how do I do my culling? I use colors. I use green and red. The shortcut for green is the number eight. The shortcut for red is the number six on the keyboard. Let's go into the photos. This photo I really like. I'm gonna press eight on it. I like that one as well. That one I'm gonna skip on. I like that one. That one is nice. I like that one as well. That one I'm going to skip on. Skip eight and we go green again and the last one green again. So we've got a couple of green photos now. Once we have our green photos, we can press G, which is for the grid and then go all the way to the top to attributes. Once you add attributes, you make sure you click on the green over there in the corner. Click on green. Now Lightroom is only showing you the green photos. In other words, the photos that you have chosen. Now when I edit and I'm done editing a photo, I will pick red. That will make the photo disappear. I'm going to show you a quick example. We're going to leave it in grid mode. I'm going to press six and that photo is disappearing. What happened to it? It went now to all the red photos and I'll show you a bit later. I'm going to undo that because we haven't edited that photo yet. So the next step would be to choose your preset. In my case, I'm going to use my KT preset. Pick the KT preset. Once I've done that, I'm going to press control A so that Lightroom chooses all the photos and then at the bottom left I'm going to click on synchronize. My synchronize has now hopped over to the other screen. There we go. And I'm going to actually deselect white balance and exposure because I don't want white balance and exposure on all the photos to be the same. That we're going to do individually. However, I'm also going to unclick healing and crop and masking because healing brushes you don't want to synchronize as well as cropping because every photo has its unique cropping and then masking is something that you also don't want to necessarily do in the beginning. So I'm going to click on synchronize. What it has done now, it has created a base preset for all my images 
which means I can now actually start editing. Now I'm not gonna edit all these photos, I'm just gonna show you the first one, and then from there we're gonna go on how to export. So in this photo, typically what I'll do is I'll up the exposure quite a bit, and then do warmth. I'd like the couple to be in the middle here, so we're gonna crop a bit from the top left, there we go. I think the bottom of the image is a bit on the bright side. So I'm going to add a bit of my venetting preset here, just like that. I do want to add more of the warmth and add a bit more saturation to it. And then lastly, I'm going to do contrast. So now I'm going to press six to make the photo red and it will disappear. What makes this workflow work for me is the fact that I work with colors and that the photo disappears and it sort of gives me an idea of how many photos there is and what I have edited and what I've not edited. If I, for instance, click on this photo and I click six again, it also disappears. Now I wanna go maybe back to see what have I edited or I wanna go back to the photo. All I do is click G for the grid again, go the, to the top, click on red first and then the green and then it shows me the red photos. If I want to see the green photos with it, I just click on green as well and it shows me the red and the green. So once you're done editing, you've selected your red photos and are ready for export, you click on export. Now you go to the top which says export to. I choose specific folder, then you go to choose, you can go to wherever you want to export the photos to. I go to my, let's say D drive, create a new folder, I'm gonna call it YT for YouTube. I'm gonna select it. Now, the next thing I'll do is renaming. I use the custom name sequence. There's quite a few and you can choose whatever works for you. You have to click on this box, however, and then with the custom name sequence, I give it my company name, Kubis Tola Photography, and then from there, at the start number, you click on one. That will then export all the images as Kubis Tola Photography 1, Kubis Tola Photography 2, 3, etc. From there, there, on file settings, make sure it's JPEG, make sure it's sRGB, quality must be on 100 guys, very important. And then image sizing, when I do want to export maybe for social media, depending on the different sizes with regards to Facebook, YouTube, you can go to resize, I click long edge, I don't use dimensions with the night, long edge is just the easiest. And I choose 2000 and I would typically go to maybe 125 resolution or 175. If I ever export for my clients for printing, do not resize and use use resolution at 300. Make sure it's on pixels per inch. Then I go to export and it starts exporting. I hope you find this workflow very helpful. Here's that bonus tip on how to import Lightroom presets. Go to edit, click on preferences, go to show Lightroom develop presets and opens up a folder. Then you have to open up a folder on your PC. Go to the folder that it is on your PC. I made one, I said YouTube preset. There it is, and now I take the Lightroom preset and I drag and drop it into the settings folder. In my case, it's gonna ask me to replace because it's already there. I'm not gonna do it now. All you do is drag and drop, then go to your Lightroom. You can close this up by clicking OK. Go to your Lightroom develop module by pressing D. Go have a look, it should be on your left. If you don't see it, don't worry, just restart your Lightroom. If you still don't see it once you've restarted it, go to user presets, it should be under there. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching guys. Please smash that like button, punch the subscribe button and um, just click on the notification button. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.